two out of three. That's the number of dudes who experience hair loss by age 60. Happens a lot. You get older, it happens. Sooner or later. In my case, sooner, obviously. It's not something that caught me by surprise. Um, my granddad's been bald ever since I've known him. Um, a lot of the guys in my extended family like went bald early, like in their 30s. So I never expected it to be any different for me. I've always had a pretty big forehead and a lofty hairline ever since I was a kid. Like around the end of high school, I started to notice like the hair in the front of my head growing a little bit less and that pattern continued into college. So I've suspected for a while that I was gonna go bald like around my mid 20s or whatever. I'm 25 now, so that's a good guess. It definitely doesn't feel good to lose your hair, especially like in what feels like an early age than most you know but um given the fact that most people do go bald eventually i can kind of take consolation in the fact that i'm ahead of the curve and adjusting to the look before other people are forced to kind of like ripping the band-aid off quick um so you avoid the slow pain or like jumping into the pool to get used to the cold you know going bald in your 20s and having a quarter life crisis about it i think is better than going bald in like your 40s or 50s and having a midlife crisis but still like i said it doesn't feel good to lose your hair and it takes getting used to for one thing it helps to seek out other bald icons you know in the public eye that you can look up to like bezos richest man in the world amazon godfather working on rocket ships thanos titan snapped away half the universe beat the brakes off the hulk dwayne johnson world-class hollywood superstar charismatic loved by everyone shaquille o'neal who actually told me i should join the bald club when we met at an event in new york there's jason statham terry crew i could go on my point is that there's nothing wrong with going bald and you can prosper despite it even in entertainment even with all the pressures from the cosmetic industry commercials and sometimes internet comments who make people think that they need to join the hair club or get get micro needling or tattoo their hairline or get implants or whatever. I'm not judging anybody, do what you want. Bottom line, it's just two choices um, when faced with hair loss. You can either fight it or go with it. That's just how I'm rolling with it. But who knows, maybe in a decade, um, if somebody comes out with some kind of crazy magical elixir hair growing shampoo, so it'd have to be like, you know, you might see me walking around with a fro or something. It's unlikely, but like anything's possible. Until then, I just want to put a message out there to all of all people, you know, especially if you're under 30 don't trip everybody else is gonna lose their hair too just wait and when they do you can talk to anybody who ever tried to roast you for being ahead of the game all right thanks for watching um have a great day catch you on the next upload leave a like if you want um out